When a story unfolds in the real world that seems like a movie come to life, Hollywood studios don't waste time in adapting it. But not every movie based on a true story is a clearly advertised one, which means some stories that seem too strange, too hard to believe, or just too well hidden to be based on fact slip by audiences. Let us know if we missed any in the comments below. Here are Screen Rant's 10 movies you won't believe are based on real stories. Nacho Libre That's right, the movie that cast Jack Black as a Mexican priest entering the world of Lucha Libre to support local orphans actually happened. The movie is based on the life of Sergio Gutierrez Benitez, a priest in Texcoco, Mexico who learned just how much money it took to take care of over 200 orphans. Inspired by movies he'd seen that showed completely fictional priests who wrestled to raise money, Benitez did it for real, taking the name of Fray Tormenta, Friar Storm. He kept his day job a secret for years, but when a rival revealed Friar Storm was a priest in disguise, the money and donations began to roll in. Rocky Everyone knows the story of the small-time boxer who finds the heart to take on the heavyweight champ. But Rocky isn't as original a story as you might think. Early on, Sylvester admitted he'd started writing a movie script after seeing a 15-round fight between heavyweight champ Muhammad Ali and Chuck Webner. Since Rocky's opponent, Apollo Creed, was also based on Ali, Webner would eventually sue Stallone in 2006 for stealing his life story. The lawsuit was settled out of court, but the theft didn't stop there. For research, the production team had also sought out Muhammad Ali's greatest opponent, Joe Frazier, who makes a cameo in the film. Rocky punching sides of meat and running up the steps of the Philadelphia Museum of Art, both taken from Frazier's own life without giving him credit. Indiana Jones We explained in an earlier video how Indiana Jones was based on the 1954 movie Secret of the Incas, but both characters owe their origin to a real-life explorer. Hiram Bingham was just 36 years old when he realized teaching history and politics at Harvard and then Yale wasn't enough to keep him busy. So he organized a search for the lost capital of the Incas based mainly on curiosity alone. Relying on centuries-old books and local guides, his search would lead him to the ruins of Machu Picchu, a mountaintop city that had been lost to South American history. The site was a major breakthrough, and his book became a bestseller when it was released. Six years later, Charlton Heston would play a rougher version of the adventurer, with Indy following decades later. Nightmare on Elm Street The inspiration for Freddy Krueger is realer than most fans would think. Director Wes Craven has explained that the story began when he read multiple accounts of Cambodian immigrants dying under strange circumstances. In the case of one family who settled in Los Angeles, things were fine until their son began to refuse to sleep, convinced that if he did, an unseen terror was going to kill him. After staying awake for days and hiding coffee makers in his room, he succumbed to sleep. Hours later, they heard him screaming in terror and found him dead in his own bed. Craven let his imagination run wild, and a nightmare on Elm Street was born. 300. Zack Snyder's version of ancient Spartan warriors may be based on Frank Miller's comic, but viewers who loved 300's intense action and badass battles may not know just how accurate the movie actually is. Sure, there weren't any mutants or magical beasts in the Battle of Thermopylae, but the Spartans really were famous throughout the ancient world for their skills at delivering one-liners. The soldiers being happy for the shade offered by storms of arrows fits with the actual historical accounts, along with the response to being commanded to lay down their arms. Come and get them! King Leonidas may not have actually screamed, this is Sparta, but the one-liners are still used as models in the Greek army to this day. Fury Director David Ayer pulled from multiple true stories to keep Fury accurate. Take the real-world hero Audie Murphy, who mounted the machine gun atop a burned-out tank to single-handedly hold off a German assault. Brad Pitt's character is even named after American tank commander Lafayette War Daddy Poole, who racked up a total of 258 armored vehicle and mobile gun kills in just three months. If that wasn't enough, Ayer based the movie's climax around a story told by American soldiers. Apparently, a single recruit was found alive in a burned-out tank, smack in the middle of a country road, surrounded by dozens of dead enemies. Heat Most movie buffs will tell you that Michael Mann's Heat is based on the real-world Bank of America shootout in 1997, when gunmen overwhelmed LAPD officers with assault rifles and body armor. But it isn't just the action scenes that were inspired by the real world. The director's friend, Chuck Adamson, a former Chicago police officer, gets some of the credit for the movie's main rivalry. Apparently, Adamson really did face off with a career thief named Macaulay. 
and the pair really did sit down for a heated cup of coffee while one was chasing the other. In the end, Macaulay fled a robbery knowing he was trapped. He was then chased down, then shot and killed by Adamson just as the movie shows. The Hunt for Red October One Jack Ryan movie was based on more than imagination. In The Hunt for Red October, the commander of a Soviet nuclear submarine flees for America, looking to defect while his authorities set out to sink his sub instead. Clancy based the story on Captain Valery Sablin, who along with his loyal crew, stole a destroyer called the Sentry. Soviet forces would soon sink the ship, claiming Sablin was looking to flee to the West. It was only after Clancy published his book that the true story came out. Sablin was looking to attack Soviet leadership and spark an even more communistic revolution. Star Wars George Lucas wasn't trying to hide the role Nazi Germany played on his space epic, naming his stormtroopers after Germany's own special attack forces. The uniforms of the Empire are drawn from history, as is the Alliance led by American heroes who overthrow the Old Order. The space battles were based on real footage of aerial dogfights, the famous Kessel Run is based on a German military term, It's a ship that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. And the planet Hoth is named after a German general who served on the frozen Russian front. The first movie's finale is even modeled after German propaganda films. Director J.J. Abrams has even admitted that when the writers wondered what would have happened if the Nazis regrouped after losing the war, the villains of the next Star Wars trilogy, The First Order, were born. The Shining Stanley Kubrick's classic horror movie, just like the Stephen King novel it's based on, is beyond famous. But horror fans would be surprised to know that it wasn't completely fiction. In a time when the author would sometimes feel genuine anger towards his own children, King and his wife spent a night at the Stanley Hotel in Colorado. As the only guest there near the end of the season, the couple walked down long, empty hallways, stayed in the haunted room 217, and even shared a quiet drink with the hotel's only bartender. The moments all made it into the book, but it wasn't until King woke from a nightmare, seeing his son running in terror through the hotel, that The Shining was born. Those are the films based on actual events and people that we couldn't believe. But what are your favorites? Be sure to name them in the comments and subscribe to our channel for more Screen Rant videos like this one.